You all right? We could all be on a plane by now. Look, folk don't half talk some gibberish after one too many. You meant it. You know it's what you want. A new life, you and me and Mum. Somewhere we can start again. You heard her. She's going nowhere till she's cleared her name. And how's she gonna do that? The only person that can help is dead. Oh, why the sudden rush? It's not as if you don't have a roof over your head, is it? <laughs> Mum, it's bad enough having to leave a bob out of the bathroom every morning. And it's nice to have a man around the place, now that my husband has turned into Terry's full-time carer. It just makes sense, that's all. It's closer to work, it's closer to G and it doesn't cost me anything. You don't get something for nothing in this life. Lady Muck is playing games with you. I can handle Zoe. She's already driven you to abducting your own daughter. That was a misunderstanding. We've sorted things out now. Of course you have. Just like you did when her brother tried to frame you as the friendly village rapist. I mean, why is she so keen to get you in her clutches day and night? Have you thought of that? Leave it, Mum. He's made his mind up. She rattles around in that massive house all on her own and she'd just feel a lot safer if someone was there with her, that's but all. she is mentally ill. She's just lost her brother in very tragic circumstances. It could set her off again. There's nothing wrong with Zoe. Not any more. And you'll remember that when you're woken in the early hours by a schizophrenic lesbian waving a bread knife, will you? <laughs> I'll call you. <sighs> Only loser geeks wear ties. You're not going to court looking scruffy. Eh? You think I'm dross, why bother? That's why you nicked Scott's car yesterday, is it? You thought another one won't make any difference. Scott's a smart maggot. He had it coming to him. <laughs> if he'd have caught you, he'd have kicked us out of it. The only reason he's coming round to inspect us today is because you managed to wind him up. Sorry. You two ready for the off? As will ever be. You're not going to say good luck or anything? Good luck, guys. Looks like we're going to need it. Come on. I have to admit, the flat's not quite as spacious as I remember. Oh, trust me, after sharing a bathroom with Mum and Donna, it's like Buckingham Palace in there. Oh, you need these. Uh, what should I do about bills? Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's taken care of. But I do expect you to make your own bed. <laughs> I do really appreciate this, Zoe. The arrangement's not entirely altruistic because the office phone comes through to you out of hours so be prepared for hysterical tenants and their plumbing problems at 3am. No problem. And I expect you to come until Terry returns. Whenever that may be. Exactly. So welcome to your new home. <laughs> How about a nice housewarming cup of tea? No I can't I'm uh, going to Andy's got to be there in 10 minutes. Right well if you're free to see me do you want to have dinner with me and Jean? Yeah I'd love to that'd be great. All right well we shall see you. Oh, yeah. Right. Shouldn't you be at school? Yeah, I would be if they managed to rebuild the classroom. Hey. Watch this. It's this programme and they go around all the foreign countries looking for houses, see which one they like the best. Debbie. There should be us doing that. Miles away from here. You've got to forget about all this new life stuff. It's not going to happen. She just stopped to that day. I didn't want her to go and see Chris, but she wouldn't listen. I even lent her the money to get up to her own farm. You weren't annoyed that it was all going to kick off. Yeah, well, I should have told you sooner. You'd have done something, you'd have stopped her. I tried, but she wouldn't listen. Apparently I gave her that money. None of this Chris stuff would have ever happened. We'd have been able to go away, but instead, sitting here waiting for Mum to get sent to prison for the rest of her life. It's all my fault. Listen. Something might turn up, it might not happen. Oh, grow up, Dad. We've all been dreaming. In a movie, no one's going to come in at the last minute and save her. <sighs> May as well just start getting used to it, right? Going to lose her, aren't we? You dropped them off, all right? Yeah. I reckon Andy's breaking it more than Daz. Well, I thought he'd want you to stay. Well, I said I was winding him up too much. He'll give me a call when they're finished. Does he know you've come back here? What do you think? It's always difficult when your little boy flies the nest. Mum, he's been living on his own for ages. You sent him into the army when he was 60. You're more than welcome to visit any time you like. I don't think my nerves would be up to it. I mean, that flat's the place where David Glover had his accident, isn't it? 
It was a long time ago, and we have redecorated. And everything else that's gone on in that house, I wouldn't stay there for love nor money. I don't know why you don't just sell up. Buy something a bit more manageable. A new place, no memories, and a swimming pool. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you, Viv. What are you doing in here? Well, we've run out of milk. And the doctor suggests that I have more calcium right now. You do this once more and I will call the police. Well, even they can't ban a pregnant woman from buying food, Zoe. You saw me come in here. You're following me. Oh, get a grip, will you? I've got enough on my plate. I don't have the energy to harass you and all. Leave me alone to hear. Oi! Cheers. Oh, let me do it. Oh, sorry. I'm sure you must remember what it's like. I'm about as mobile as a space hopper with a weight problem. Listen, I'm not stalking you, honest. You stay away from us. Do you understand? Have you any idea how much I've wanted to get you on your own? <laughs> well, I can make a wild guess. So why don't we take this somewhere a bit more comfortable? You mean our bed? Well, I wasn't thinking of Daz's. I don't know, Robert. It just doesn't seem right somehow. But this feels right, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on. Anyone at home? Oh, it's got quick. Just get in your bedroom. Just ignore him. He'll go away. Well, I can't. He's come to inspect the farm. Just get in there and be quiet. I'm not in the mood to play games, Kate. You knew I was supposed to be at quarter past. Yeah, I've been in the shower. I've just been getting dressed. Oh, well, then it's a real shame I didn't come a couple of minutes earlier then, isn't it? Don't tell me. You're really in bed here again. <laughs> I wouldn't like it being harassed on my holiday. It's only to get her a dress. I'm sending her a birthday present. She's 70 this week. Oh, it's a special occasion, reaching three score a year and ten. Look, hang on a minute, love. There is something else on that'll do nicely. Room in there for a small one? Oh, the more the merrier. I could always rewrap. Brilliant. Hiya. Hiya. Still up tonight. That's what I wanted to see you about. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting out of the house all week. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but we're going to have to rearrange. Oh, I see. Only Simon rang earlier. Does he want to cancel? Oh, I knew you'd understand. Some of the time, eh? Yeah, some of the... I've had a word with the clerk and we're up next. So, Darren, are you clear about what's going to happen? I think so. When you're in court, you'll be asked to stand up and confirm your name and address. You pleaded guilty, which is a big point in our favour, and the magistrates already have your report, so it's really just a matter of sentencing. So what will they get? It depends on the mood of the bench. What's the bench got to do with it? Darren Eden. Right, best foot forward. And Darren, only speak when you're spoken to. Keep it short and sweet, and for heaven's sake, don't cheat the magistrate. Hey. Oh, there we go, look, love. With all my happy return. Oh, thanks, Lens. You'll really appreciate that. Let's get it wrapped. <laughs> From me and Paddy. Oh, well, that's very kind. You don't look a day over 21. Oh, it's for Betty. Laurel's sending presents to Australia. Oh. Seth could do with a drop of my own brew. Can't seem too keen on that cold, fizzy stuff they call beer down under. Mm, yeah. Oh, and you know about that first hand, would you? As a matter of fact, Edna, I would. I'll drop in late if it's all right with you. Oh, whatever suits. I'm not going anywhere. I'll just be in, at home, on my own, again. Well, the outbuilding seem to be in good working order and you've not made a bad job of repairing the barn wall. So, we've passed, have we? Well, I couldn't tell you that until I had a look around this place. Housekeeping's not your strong point, is it? You bounce a ball off the cobwebs in the corners. Well, I've got more important things to do than housework. Yeah. Keeping the child a sight and out of trouble, then you don't seem to be managing too well, do you? I don't know what you mean. Something strange happened to my car yesterday. No, no Scott, not in there. Well, have you left your knickers out? Don't be shy. I'd live with Chloe, remember? I've seen it all before. Well, just no, OK? What are you keeping in there, a body? Look, my bedroom is private. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Now, you get this. Your rent is going out by 10% per annum. That's per year, as of this month. Scott, you can't do that. You're paying well under the market rates, as it is. Well, that is because it was a wreck before we moved in, and he's worked like mad to get it looking like this. 
Well, then he'd be well chuffed to find out that all his hard work has paid off, won't he? We cannot afford to pay any more. That is not my problem. You see, I'm running a business, not a charity. Where do you expect us to get the cash from? Me standing on street corners? Well, you never know, Katie. If you scratch my back up enough, then I might be persuaded to scratch yours if you're not. Just get lost, you sleaze. You used to be such a laugh. Have you lost your sense of humour since you moved in with Loverboy? That wasn't funny. Yeah, well, that was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? Still, it's your loss. Because the rent's still going up by 10%. And if you don't pay, you're out. Understood. Who does he think he is? Yeah, well, you should tell Zoe. Let her know what type of a low life she's got working for her. Yeah, well, that's his word against mine. And why would she believe me? Yeah, well, I heard him too. Remember. Oh, yeah, right. Try explaining to Andy why you were hidden in the bedroom. Well, I was that close to coming out and lamping in one. <sighs> yeah, well, I beat you to it. He's already got it in for us, and now he's got a reason. I could keep putting the rent up. He could even kick us out, Robert. Well, you've got rights. That's not going to happen. And anyway, you deserve the good slap trying to help my woman. Come here. I'm just not now, Robert, OK? Well, it's not as if he's going to come back for some more of the same, is it? Well, I don't care. It just doesn't feel right anymore. Get back in that car and get lost. Since when do you give me orders round here? Since I moved in, that's when. To be a good boy, eh, and get out of here. Well, not before I've seen Zoe. What do you want to see her for? <laughs> well, it's kind of personal. You've got two minutes to make yourself scarce. Oh, what? What, are you going to call the police? Well, I'd be careful of how you, cos funny things happen to blokes who live up here when they call the police. You shouldn't be on my property. I need a word. Leave it, Zoe. I'll sort this out. Well, do you want me to call the police first? Five minutes. That's all. It wasn't too bad, was it? Well, that woman was a right snotty witch. Right, she do what? You're lucky she didn't decide to lock you up. So what happens now, then? Well, seeing as the court decided against the custodial, Darren's been referred to the community panel. Well, did you get the gist of what that means? We've got to go through all this stress again. Well, it's not a soft option. Darren's going to have to face up to the victims of his offences. <laughs> He's got to say sorry to them. Well, that's part of it. Then the panel can decide on a suitable punishment. Wicked. I'm not going to prison. Shut up, Daz. This panel thing, do I have to go with him? Yes, but it's very informal. It's coffee and biscuits round a table. No solicitors or magistrates. So it's not as intimidating as today. Yeah, but it's more paperwork, more tests, more things like that. And we've got the worst of that over with. Promise. I told the police everything I know. You sure about that, are you? What exactly are you accusing me of? I think that you know more than you're letting on to the police. Don't be ridiculous. And you're, uh, you're keeping quiet because you want to see Charity sent down. Absurd. You ought to Charity to speak up. I owe that woman nothing. Not just for her, but for Debbie. The poor kid's only just found a mum. It's going to kill her to lose her again. Then maybe Charity should have thought about that before she decided to murder my brother. She didn't kill your brother. I know that, and so do you. Don't you, Zoe? They're homemade caramels. There's some for you and some for Betty. She's always been partial to them. Oh, she'll be delighted. Mm. Oh, come in! Ooh, as promised, a sniff of my latest batch, and you can tell Seth it's a premium brew, this one. A mild, velvety finish We are. Kick like Beckham's in step. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just take one because it'll cost a fortune to post. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, you're safe for a drink, seeing as you're here. Yeah. I've bought a bottle of wine. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. I won't be a sec. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having another human being around. I'm beginning to talk to the walls, just like my old Tiara did when she locked herself in for three months. Now sit down. <laughs> oh, you have. <laughs> and I've made a bit of a snack. Just in case anyone dropped in. Mm. So make yourself at home. <laughs> have a sandwich. Oh, Hi, Hi, Fanny Me! Guess what? Simon's stuck in with me, so get your fur in it, cos I'm a let's. Oh. 
Could you live with yourself if she got banged up? Could you live with ruining her life? Ruining Debbie's? Our business is in the hands of the court. What happens to charity now has got nothing to do with me. You've had your five minutes. I suggest you leave. If you let her get sent down when you know she didn't do it, you'll have me to reckon with. And believe me, I always set on my scores. I'm not afraid of you. If I were you, I'd walk out before you chucked out. She's pretty, isn't she, eh? Your little girl. Be a shame if something was to spoil your game of happy families, wouldn't it, eh? Do you get off on threatening women and children, do you? You call yourself a man? At least I'm not so desperate for a real woman that I have to rape myself a lesbian. <laughs> You tell them what you know, or I'll make sure you live to regret it. All right? I think we might not get to see each other again for ages. Look, we're going to have to be more careful, Robert. Can you imagine if Scott had walked in on us? Yeah, but he didn't, did he? He came close. They don't even bother you. There's no one at the garage this afternoon. Why don't you come over and we can finish off what we started? Look, Andy and Daz are on the way back. Wasn't Scott you at yours this morning? Yeah. You know he's moved into Home Farm, don't you? Well, that explains a lot. Oh. It's gone straight to his head. He's Mr. In Charge of Everything. He's a right pain. Is he all right with you? Well, yeah. He came round to my house, had a good nose round. Then he hit on me, so I slapped him around the face. So we upped our rent by 10%. Apart from that, it was fine. Really? He's so gullible, Donna. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having a full house. <laughs> oh, come on, for caramel. If I'd have known I was crushing pensioners' playtime, I'd have stayed at home with my dad. Oh, this corkscrew stuck. Look, I'll hold you, Paul. Right? Hey, I've just bumped into Lisa and she's asked me to give you this. I've had a whip round of the factory and they bought a better little something. Oh. Think you'd be able to squeeze it in? Oh, shouldn't be a problem. No problem at all. Now, come on, sit down, <laughs> have a sandwich, some wine, and make yourselves at home. Now, come on. <laughs> you all right, Nicola? She wasn't eating a caramel before she fell down, was she? Mm, I mm. think she was, yeah. I bet there are coppers all over North Yorkshire that would love to nail Kane Dingle. Yeah, no need for that, though, is there? He steams in here, he threatens you, assaults me. Yeah, of course there is. I really don't think that's a good idea. Are you kidding? It's about time he learns it, that he can't go around terrorising innocent people. What's the point about Debbie, though? Don't you think she's got enough to cope with at the moment? You don't want me to call the police, do you? Why the hell not, Zoe? Yeah, well, like, uh, it's in a block of oak. I always reckon Scott Windsor had wood between his ears. What the hell were you doing it in, Scott? It weren't about the, um, car, was it? What car? Oh, nothing. Don't really matter. No, I was, uh, I was just having a chat with Zoe. Zoe? What the hell were you doing with Zoe? Well, I thought it was about time she realised we were no. on to her. But I've given her something to think about, so you don't you need to... You stupid, moronic pig! I didn't get what... Kid, what the hell have you got into that for? So we got away with it, then? Nice one. No. He's got to go through it all again in front of some community panel thing. Yeah, I've got to sit in front of Rodney and tell him how sorry I am. Well, that's it. Then he's got to confront the victim, along with social workers, youth workers, these community people, and God knows who else, and they're going to tell him what's going to happen to him. But well, he's not going to a youth offender's place. Oh, no way. I'll be doing community stuff to make up for being a bad lad. Cool, eh? How did it go with Scott? Oh, fine. But he's increased the rent. Ten percent, as of now. <laughs> he can't do that. We've signed an agreement. Yeah, with Chris, and he's gone now. Look, Scott's in charge, and he thinks he can do what the hell he likes. So now I know he's staying out of prison, Daz. 
Just do us a favour and keep out of Scott's way. What is it he thinks you're not saying? And why is he bringing all of this up now? I really have no idea. All I can think is that the court case is getting closer and they're getting desperate. So we tell the police. It's not going to do her defence any good, is it? Her threatening witnesses. Scott, I appreciate your concern and, and I'm grateful that you try to protect me. That will be reflected in this month's salary. Oh, you're paying me to keep quiet. No, I'm compensating you for a stressful experience. I'm sorry that it happened at all. It won't happen again. Now, I don't want your first day here to be spoilt by this unpleasantness, so let's go and collect Jean from the nursery. See if she'd like her daddy to give her some dinner. You didn't think to ask me first. You didn't think that I might have Zoe exactly where I want her. Well, you told me last night that you haven't. You said she was holding out on you. I didn't you. expect you to go out there and keep the living daylights out of her henchmen. I'm surprised the police haven't already been round. In fact, no, they're probably waiting to drag us out of our beds at three in the morning. Self-defence. Look, he started on me. Oh, yeah, because they're really going to believe that with your history, aren't they? Kane, I'm up for murder. I'm in court in a few days, so I need trouble from the law like an all in the head. It wasn't like you made me do it. Well, only an half it would think that I hadn't. Do you realise the damage you've done? Yeah, and will you stop shouting at him? He's trying to help you. All right, yeah, by intimidating witnesses. Well, that'll go down a storm with the jury, won't it? I could kill you for this, Kane. Do you know something? This morning, I thought I just might be in with a chance of staying out of prison. But now, now you have guaranteed that I'm going down for a long, long time. You couldn't play this worse if you tried. 